Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I got a special one for you, a real special one. I'm in Golden Gate Park and I'm going to go check out Ramses the Great, the gold of the forest. So let's go check this out. It should be pretty awesome. This is quite impressive. It's just to think that this is, you know, 5,000 years old and still amazing detail. Pretty awesome. This is like a monolith, I think it's called. And you can't really tell, but it's got gold at the very top. And this is a depiction of Ramses. And it's got a goat head on the front and a lion body. 
I'm not a historian on all this stuff, but it says that this is an offering of a ram-headed vessel as a sphinx. But I really appreciate this ancient Egyptian artifacts. Looking at them this close is pretty amazing. And the, just look at it. You can even see the bones in the spine and the ribs. This is a horse bit. It's kind of dark, but that's what it is. And a little drawing, tablet style drawing. And these are tiles. Very detailed tiles. Another amazing carving. This one's got a little sparkle to it. Look at the lines in the headdress. It's another one. And all the um, these are offering cups, and the one at the top is gold. I think they offer to the gods. This one looks like one of Ramsey's maybe um, praying or doing something. And the detail's amazing. This is a bronze ritual abrasion, the sign says. This is a statue of Ramsey kneeling. And look at that. That's pretty awesome there, too. This is young Ramsey. Look at all the details in that carving. When it was, you know, done back in the day, it must have looked amazing because it looks amazing now. When I first see this, I, I think of a peace sign. But what it actually is, is a mold for sh a shield, a battle shield. It's made out of limestone. Isn't that crazy? It'd make shields out of this mold. some limestone blocks from a tomb and it looks like those three men are about to suffer a fate in the way they're being held by their hair and it looks like there's some kind of sword or axe in the guy's hand so it doesn't look so good for them
Ramses II and his Egyptian forces are on the march. Their aim, to seize control of the city-state of Kadesh from their rival, the Hittite Kingdom, and expand Egypt's borders. The Hittite king amasses his army, a coalition of tens of thousands of fierce warriors from allied territories, and also moves toward Kadesh. Egyptian accounts say the Hittites covered the mountains and filled the valleys and were like locusts in their numbers. King Ramses is woefully outnumbered, but he is not one to back down. Among his troops are warriors from his previous conquests, Nubians, Libyans, and Sheridan pirates. Just hours from their target, Ramses receives intel that the Hittites are still several days' journey away. He decides to make camp with his Amun division. His other battalions, including an elite force from Amun, are still hours away. Ramses will launch his attack once the rest of his army arrives. But his plan is soon foiled. Near camp, Ramses' guards interrogate two Hittite defectors. They reveal the Hittite army is actually in hiding just across the river. Suddenly, the Hittites' chariots smash into Ramses' raid division. In the melee, the Egyptians flee and lead the Hittites directly into the sanctuary of the Egyptian king. Ramses faces thousands of enemy charioteers. The pharaoh fights bravely, his pet lion at his side, while the Hittite king waits in safety on the other side of the river. The battle rages, and the Hittites sense victory. But Ramses' elite warriors arrive, giving their king the power to wage a counterattack. Unleashing a fury of arrows, the Egyptians force the Hittites back across the river. Ramses himself describes the scene. I made them plunge into the water like crocodiles. Those who fell down did not rise. Most of the Hittite force drown or are killed, including the king's brother. The Hittite king calls for a truce. To count the dead, Ramses' soldiers remove a hand from each fallen Hittite. And King Ramses rides away from the field of battle, declaring himself the victor. A Hittite version of the story suggests the battle was at best a draw. Seventeen years after the Battle of Kadesh, King Ramses signed a treaty with the Hittites. It ushered in a peace that lasted nearly a century. It is the first peace treaty recorded in history and remains the basis for treaties between nations today. King Ramses believed his victory in Kadesh was the greatest achievement of his reign. He celebrated it in extraordinary detail on temples throughout Egypt, making it the most famous battle of the ancient world. In the Pharaoh's own words, I found the enemy chariots scattering before my horses. I slaughtered them at my will. Behold, I am victorious. Me alone. There's a fist and curls of a wing. Made out of jasper. Now look at that. There's a, a mirror. The back part would have been polished to a high shine. Some kind of bracelet it looks like. Maybe... It says it's a black granite cramp. Not sure what that means in the Egyptian terms. And this is an architectural drawing. It looks to me like they're trying to draw a um, crocodile.
this model here shows how the sunlight illuminates the tombs. And you press the button here and it demonstrates that. Isn't that wild? Just like in the movies, huh? And this is a statue of a princess. Look at the details on this. Pretty uh, highly detailed. I would have liked to have seen that when it was finished 5,000 years ago. If it looks this good, imagine what it looked like when it was just completed. A lot of time involved in chiseling that. Some, some really nice jewelry here. Lots of gold there. And that necklace, and they're pretty nice. There's some tiles. There's a fish. I'm not sure what the tiles are used for. Now look at this. This is impressive. This is this is a wooden outer coffin. And you know the De Young Museum did a amazing job putting this uh, exhibition on or show um, everything's done so well you can see and get up close they figured out a way to let you get up close but still keep it protected and look at the detail of the drawings It's so good that it it looks fake, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's like you see it in the movies and you know that's fake. Well, this is the real deal. There's a falcon head and... And the dogs, they kind of look like Doberman Pinchers to me. And it looks like a baboon. There's a rabbit. It's amazing detail. top of it quite impressive I must say there's some human birds I know this all has to do with the afterlife rabbit looks like a some kind of frog or something and this looks like a guy doing mummification a lot of messages on that amazing piece this painted cloth here Just think, 
5,000 years from now, someone might uh, be looking at your elementary school painting in a museum. There's some more tile, looks like, or pieces of rock sketched, sketched on. It's a hyena attacking a lion, a depiction of that. sketches here look at the details here that's probably the artist practicing on something here's some actual pictures of where all this stuff you're looking at came from there's Luxor Son of Ramses, Ramses II. This is, I believe, what they call Valley of the Kings. And this, I don't know the name for it, but I think you put your organs in it after mummification for the afterlife. Pretty sure. And this is printed fabric, and it has a three-dimensional look to it. Obviously modern, but it looks three-dimensional, huh? Look at the jewelry here. This is getting serious now. Leopard heads in solid gold, and the uh, falcon heads. I'm not sure what all the stones are, but it kind of looks like turquoise and something else, but I don't know. It's another piece. There's a collar a princess would have wore. This one here is seashells, as you can see. But look at the detail on the necklace. The falcon's got color on it, and all the uh, different details in the necklace, and the seashells themselves, pretty amazing. Here's some bracelets. incredible necklace with some kind of I'm not sure what the thing in the center is it's part of the jewelry I guess this is a painted limestone relief that came out of a tomb and the sign says 12th dynasty Joy, look at the, the starfish and the hearts and the clamshells. The detail is just crazy. Some more jewelry here, another amazing necklace, and look at that centerpiece. Wow. This is a dagger of a princess. Bronze and lapis. Look at that. That's. And look at that. Look at that headdress or crown with a cobra on it. That is quite amazing. Beautiful. Really nice. You can visualize someone wearing that, a woman. 
There's a pendant oyster shell shaped and this little bird. There's a mummified cat. There's a coffin with animals. Kind of stork. It's a mongoose carved out of wood. There's a mummified crocodile. Where that's bizarre. Wow. Looks like a grub worm. It's, well, actually. That sign said that was a wooden coffin for a crocodile. It's not a mummified crocodile. Limestone. This says mummified lion cub. And mummified mongoose. Mummified cat. And this is Big Kitty. Look at the detail and the wrapping of it. Wooden coffin for a mummified crocodile. Huh. They must have uh, respected crocodiles a lot. Look at the jewelry. These are amazing detail here. And the cat, as you can see, is awesome. There's more drawings, and now it looks like the there's like milking a cat with cat herding geese is on that. Wow. These are like cobra heads. Cobra headed goddess. Look at that scarab beetle. Remind you of that movie The Mummy with Brendan Is it Brendan Fraser? Yeah, I think Brendan Fraser was in that movie. This is mind blowing. This is all made out of silver. I mean, look at the detail of that. It's just amazing. No, look at that falcon head and uh, the wings carved into the case. And it looks like the some kind of knives or something in his hand or fan. I don't know. That's an amazing uh, work of art there. I don't think I've ever seen anything silver. It's Egyptian like that. Crazy. Look at that. Amazing detail. I love it. This is my favorite piece so far. Uh, this is quite impressive too. Another falcon head coffin. Mm. 
Now this possible, this one on the outside of that silver, and probably same shape. More jewelry and look at that. That's incredible. And this piece is very cool. And look at this. Isn't that amazing? You can really see this is awesome because it shows you what they would wear. A headdress. I'm not sure the fingers are made out of metal and toes. I'm not sure if those are what they would put over them? I don't know. Another uh, carving or statue of Ramses. As you saw in the video, he had lots of uh, statues all over. That's pretty awesome, though. It says dish engraved with lotus flower. containers or water or who knows this is really cool this is a reflection from above and check out the top Isn't that incredible? All made out of granite. Which, by the way, is extremely heavy. I can't imagine how heavy that piece is, but... Detail is... quite amazing. You know, another thing that comes to mind is they let you get so close to this stuff. It's, it's people watching. Painted, gilded, cedar outer coffin lid is what the sign says on this. And look at this. If that isn't um, stunning. This uh, amazing. From the time that how old that is it is incredibly well preserved it really is Some this is a high priest bracelet. Another beautiful piece. And I saved the best for last. Look at this. This is a 
gilded wooden mask. A cobra at the bottom there, a little ring. It's incredible. And as you exit, they talk to you a little bit about the future and the museum that's opening in Cairo soon. In Cairo, he made the spotlight once again. Oh, wow. Along with the most celebrated mummies of Egyptian history, Ramses journeyed from the capital to his new home at the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization. And of course, just like Disney started, as soon as you get through the tour, they dump you into a gift shop. Smart marketing, smart marketing. I remember staying in the Luxor years ago in Vegas and they had a similar gift shop. There's a cat, gold kitty. Who doesn't need a gold kitty in their life? Well, everyone, what did you think of that? That was a very impressive tour of Ramsey the Great, the gold of the pharaohs. Very well put on, very well production. Good production, just amazing. Very impressive. Um, this is going until February 13th in San Francisco. If you are around, I would highly recommend checking it out. It's not very expensive. It's 35 bucks for what you see. Um, I call that a bargain. All right. Thanks for coming along with me again on my uh, video of Ramsey the Great. And I will see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. All right. Bye.